Yo, what's going on, guys? This is the game. Welcome back to another video on how to. And today I'm just going to show you how to fix Skyrim mod missing files problem. Because I got a comment saying when he downloaded it, he get this missing DLL file, which is not that difficult to fix, right? If you don't, it's just two ways you can fix it. You just reinstall your program, which is the long way, and the shorter way to fix this is to just to get the missing file, depending on how much missing files you need. If you're missing like a good a good bunch of them, which I don't know how you would figure that out, you just need to reinstall it. If you keep getting any problem when you reinstall it, then try the easier way. So I I did remove some some DLL files on mine and I deleted the game and reinstall it. And I got the same problem. So uh, not all computers will give full access, so you have to give access one by one, which might take hours to set up the game, but it's worth it. So it's, as you can see can file steam.dll so it need that file in order to run again so i going to show you how to fix the problem you're going to need any browser you can download a uh, program from first if you could open it can be nice stand okay no oh well, crap please open yeah i have two videos uploaded so huh. it'll take a while okay so let me get this thingy back. Oof. Okay, so you're going to remember the name of the file. So my one is just Steam. But the DLL file. So let's go to type in Steam. DLL file download. You don't really need any specific name. Just make sure you have the dot DLL at the end of it. So you're going to see this side come up. Make sure it is this side. It might it will always come up first once you have dot DLL at the end of your name. Make sure you type your name correct too. Now this part you have to pay you have to pay attention to. Because if you don't the wrong one, you have to go back and repeat these steps. So you could see here there's a, a few things here. So I'll go to download the latest one. And show you how it works I, I mean I, I did not when I tell that I uh, deleted the file I delete it I just move it so as, uh, if this file don't work for me then I know I already have the file so because I don't want to have the cost to go and reinstall it just because I made some video on how to fix the game oh okay so it's finished Go to your downloaded file. I recommend just moving the whole extracted folder. Not extracted, just the whole file. So I'm just gonna click cut and move on this part. And you go to you might leave Chrome open because some files might be missing too. Right click on um the garage one application you use to open the game, not the updated one. I click open file location. So Depending on which um, path it's in, so my path will be over here. You're gonna right click, paste, yeah, give access, and you're gonna right click and extract files. You can just extract the file right here. So click OK. Yes. There is no Steam. Yeah, click yes to all. Wait, what? Wait, which file did I download? I think I probably messed. Did it not extract? Or am I blind? Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me try this a different way. I don't know why this is giving so much trouble for me now. Okay, so I just go into. You don't need the file. Just need the .dl file. Copy that. <coughs> Sorry. There we go. We got it. No, oops. Now I can access off, and you have the file over here now. If this works for you, then I'm happy for you. But I remember I remove a few files just to teach you all. So, we just open this now. Click yes. 
and there is more open. Just like that. If you're missing any more DLL files, just do the same thing. Just type in the name .dll and go to the file. Download the latest one, extract it to the folder of where it is. If it's still saying it's missing the file, just take that. I okay. So app apparently, um, I didn't download the latest one, but that is why I said I made a copy. Just in case, what just pop up? A crash file. Yeah, I made a, a, a copy here, somewhere here. Look at here. Um, yeah, I'm going to move this back into my folder. It's a good thing I made a, a copy. Yeah, I'm going to replace this because I think I downloaded the early version of Steam.dl. Did I screw up my game? Please don't tell me I screw up my game. Well, if I screw up mine, at least you know how to fix your missing DL files. Well, it, it worked. It just updated. It just need, I mean, it need updated. Yeah, I can't talk. I don't. I don't know to stay. Yeah. Please load. This is supposed to be a how to video, not how to look a to find a way to fix this. I'll show you all, not me. I should see the. Did the screen load up before? Crap, I if it did. If the menu come up, then I know it worked. You don't need to get download the correct dot DLL file. Make sure it's the correct one. If you need, if you keep, if you can't find the correct one, he's not in a good position. But okay. Anyways, so that is how I use fifty missing dot DLL files. Any more problems? Just comment down below, and I'll make a video on it. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one.